Let's go off to another thing off the top here, and that's this. We all have been talking a lot lately about the upcoming Disney streaming service, Disney Plus, for many good reasons. Not only is it launching later this year with the first live action Star Wars television series in The Mandalorian uh, being show run by Jon Favreau, of course, who just did Lion King. Uh, so that's if that's not enough to get excited about. They're also going full throttle with their MCU stuff. We got Loki. We got WandaVision. We've got uh, a Hawkeye thing. But one of the shows they got coming that maybe is getting the most people talking is the Falcon and Winter Soldier series. Now, of course, we got Sebastian Stan coming back for that. We've got Emily Van Camp is coming. We got Daniel Bruhl is com coming. Of course, Anthony Mackie is there as well. Well, another little piece of news just came out today about that that will probably get a lot of people very excited. According to the reports right now, they've just added to the creative team of this, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier series. They've brought on board Derek Kolstad, who is the creator and writer of the John Wick films. Uh, this is basically what they're saying here. The folks over at Marvel, this is from our friends at Joe Blow. The folks over at Marvel are hard at work on their new slate of limited series around characters in the MCU with perhaps the most eyes on the series centering around Bucky Barnes slash Winter Soldier, Sebastian Stan and Sam Wilson slash Falcon, who is also the recently anointed Captain America. By the way, I disagree with that. I don't think Endgame necessarily anointed him the new Captain America. I think he just gave him the shield, but whatever. Uh, the six-part series from showrunner director Kari Skolglin who of course comes from The Handmaid's Tale is moving along well and as the team grows it just got some additional firepower in the writer's room in John Wick creator, writer Derek Kolstad who may want to add a few good dogs to the story which of course I would never be opposed to. This is big because I think for anybody maybe not anybody I think for the majority of people who are going to be excited about a Falcon and Winter Soldier show are probably also, I'm just guessing, John Wick fans. So you're going to take the creator and writer of John Wick, add him to this mix, to somebody who does a great job on things like The Handmaid's Tale. They're putting together a great team both in front of the camera, which is what we've been focusing on mostly, and they've been putting together this incredible team behind the camera as well. I think this is exciting. Does it guarantee it's going to be a great series? No, nothing does. But I think if you're a fan of this material, I think if you're even remotely looking forward to this show, I think this has got to be considered a coup. I think this has got to be considered big news and very exciting what directions they may go. And I also think it speaks to the fact that they're going to put an emphasis and give, make a priority on the action of the series because you're getting somebody who knows how to set that up. I think this is fantastic. Aaron, am I being too optimistic about this? Is this really not a big deal? Uh, or, or, I don't know, how do you see it? I want to watch this yesterday. <laughs> I am so thrilled about this. I've seen John Wick, the, I've seen the, the first John Wick at least five times. Thank you, Tom Dagnan, my husband, super fan. Um, <laughs> but we love the John Wick movies. I think that um, adding him as the you know as, as such an integral part of this storytelling is so powerful to a story that we already are excited and familiar with. I mean, first of all, I could watch Sebastian Stan just do nothing, and, and, and I don't mean that. And I don't mean that because he's absurdly handsome. Mm -hmm. I mean he has such an in, such an interesting look about him that even when he's not saying anything, he's saying so much. So I think he's a powerful actor. I love Anthony Mackie. He's wonderful in everything that he does. And the addition of these creative forces is just incredible. And I've seen every episode of The Handmaid's Tale like 17 times. So <laughs> I, I just think there's nothing wrong with this at all. And uh, I'm, I'm ready for this to come out immediately. Chris, you hear about this. What's your reaction to it? Oh, I'm so excited about it. And having the John Wick director makes so much sense. What is writer. Bucky, John or writer, writer, excuse yeah. me, writer, what is Bucky if not Captain's puppy? You know, <laughs> it all makes sense. It's going to be so fun. I'm so excited for this show. I'm so excited for more Agent 13 and to know more about her. It's going to be really, really fun, too, to have her in the mix there, Sharon Carter. And uh, I also am going to politely disagree, John. He definitely was given that mantle of Captain America. Yeah, yeah, I don't see it. I think so. Uh, I don't, I, I just don't see it. He's, uh... He can't, he just, he's, he doesn't have any superpowers. I don't think he can be, and I know he was in the comic and all that kind of stuff, but who, I don't care about that. Anyway, but maybe I'm dead wrong about this. Question is, guys, how do you feel about this? Is this something worth getting excited about like we are? Or maybe we're like overemphasizing this a little bit too much. What do you guys think? Jump down in the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.